So this is our basically the next floor up from the ground floor and we have another kind of vestibule which we're going to use for an office down here. Um, basically it's just full of junk right now. We've got a lot of linen and suitcases and all sorts of stuff. This leads to the front of the house uh, right above the front door. Um, and what we're going to do is this is, will eventually be my wife's office. She'll have a computer in there and you know whatever you know shelves and things like that whatever you do for an office it's not a huge size but it's good enough for a uh, a small office i have a very similar one which we'll look at next next floor up right above it so we're going to do that for there i'll show you this room first so this is one of the bedrooms this the smallest well kind of the smallest bedroom on this floor uh, we're taking an even smaller bedroom that's at the other side of the hall of the stairs and we're going to turn that into a kind of a reasonably large bathroom for this whole floor um yeah so this it's got two cupboards in it not very deep um there's enough in there to hold things you know hang some uh, dresses and things like that in here uh we're going to do a little bit of kind of fancying up of this room we're going to do uh new ceiling rows um plaster work we're going to do kind of work off of these kind of things if not these ones we'll probably keep these and just fix them we're not sure and then we're also going to put a chandelier in the center of this room as well it'll definitely hold a king size bed or a super king in here it's a good size it's probably just under five meters by four meters kind of thing so we've got two good size windows out there this is the south almost perfectly south that way so you get lots of sun in the winter and, and in the summer which is great uh, we're not going to do much to the floors in here these are what you would call tomets you're making it just going to resurface them we're going to get rid of all the old wax maybe to give them a little of a, a buffing uh, to get rid of the old dirt off and work on that and then just seal them again with there's some special breathable seal you can use just for tomets that we're going to put down currently this is holding a lot of junk so there was a fireplace that was in the master bedroom that because the floor had sunk so much it started cracking so what i've done is i've removed it so that's where we're keeping bits in here there's bits over there and bits over here and and you know we're keeping a tub in here for the new bathroom when we ever get to it and the sink and stuff like that which i'll show you in, in a future video it's just kind of a bit of a junk room right now like a lot of these rooms are yeah we the fireplace here is good enough nothing too fancy we're going to keep it probably just as it is just clean it up a bit uh, we've also got pretty much all the house all the window ledges are marble which is kind of neat anyways that's the plan for this room obviously we're going to you know resurface all these walls paint them possibly do wallpaper on some of them uh, in this room the wallpaper was on the ceiling which was just crazy uh, a lot of these rooms had wallpaper on them um so yeah that's the plan is to kind of bring this back bring it back some luxury bring back some a bit of snazziness and gold and not too much gold but just you know make it kind of cool uh yeah so let's uh, go see the room across the hall which is another uh, guest bedroom so this room is another bedroom uh guest bedroom that's actually quite large um and this has all our clothes, our winter clothes, a whole lot of summer clothes we've not even unboxed yet. Towels, um, bedding, just a ton of stuff in here that it's a house that has not been undone yet. It's pretty crazy that we have this many boxes left to undo from a three bedroom house. And we have such a big space that we will eventually need it. So anyways, if you look over here, we've got two big windows. Um, we've got a fireplace over here another cupboard on that end on that side and then this wall here will have some uh lights on it sconces um it's same thing as the room beside us it has really good exposure It'd be sunny all the time uh, we're going to do the same treatment we're going to do woodwork plaster work kind of fancy plaster work we're going to put our ceiling rows in a chandelier some plaster work to jazz up the kind of the ceiling around the edges maybe some gold we're not too sure yet um you know it'll be fun the same thing we're gonna keep the floor the same just resurface it I'm not going to do any kind of uh fixing to it now towards the other end of the hallway basically the stairs are here which go down and then up to the next floor uh the two bedrooms i just showed you are at the front and the little office we have another little vestibule back here what we're going to do with this vestibule is we're going to put um a washer and a dryer here i've got the piping already kind of ready to go for that and then maybe some shelves or like something for an ironing board that kind of thing uh, this is a good little view of the the back garden unfortunately but this is a really good space for us to have the washer and dryer uh, and once again it's near where all the linen is and you know it's easy to get stuff down from this floor to here so we're going to decided to put it in this area
Um, in this hallway, we're going to just continue to kind of just put maybe a chandelier. We're not too sure yet exactly what we're going to do with this and then just kind of snazz it up a bit. Uh, on this side, we have what will was a bedroom. We're now converting one of our eight bedrooms into a large bathroom. Uh, and on this side is the um, currently, and it will be, our uh, master um, bedroom. First, let's take a look in the bathroom, which is not really a bathroom, but it will be shortly. So this will eventually be a bathroom and that's going to be quite high on our list of priorities because right now we're suffering kind of with an ensuite that's from the 60s or 70s brown and it's pretty ugly so I'll show you that next um, but so far what I've done in this and I've got other videos showing me taking it up I've removed this floor the same Tomet tiles that they have in here but what we're going to replace it with is we're going to do some um, OSB and we're going to do some waterproof kind of membrane and then we're going to retile it with something that's a little more modern but still old looking uh, and then the idea is we're going to have a cupboard uh, not full height but kind of a like a wooden thing I'm going to make up that's going to go to about this distance I don't know just enough for a suitcase width wise to go in kind of thing and then it'll take this whole section here up. Uh, we're going to have a sink coming out kind of around here. We've got a toilet right now by the window over there. We're going to have a shower sort of in the middle of that wall over there. And then we're going to have a tub that is going this way. So you'll be able to sit in the tub, look outside. The shower, we're going to walk in one side and be able to walk out the other. So it's just going to be a thing of glass. Um, we're going to try to keep it all kind of traditional. Not traditional, but it's kind of old school, kind of whatever. Uh, that's what we're going for in here and in general for this house. So yeah, that'll be next on the list after I get the electricity and after I get the plumbing all done and the AC done actually, which is going to be a big job. So, but hopefully beginning of next year, we'll get to get to doing this bathroom, if not before. So this room is the master bedroom. Um, it's the one that had the issue with the floor where it had sunk, I don't know, yay much, like three inches. Uh, it's pretty level right now. It's not level, but it's, you know, at least it's not like you're falling down the stairs. Um, this is where the fireplace was that I have in the other room, one of the other guest rooms that I showed you before. Um, the idea is that once I get the floor all established again, I'll repair that fireplace, put it back, get some resin to glue the, mort or the uh, marble back together, and uh, yeah, make it nice again. We're going to do the same kind of treatment in here. We're going to do big ceiling rows. We're going to do some plaster work. We're not sure what kind of panels we're going to do in here, if any. We're not sure yet. That's We've got two nice windows here. This is the north side, more or less. We have a small-ish walk-in closet. It's not very big, but uh, mostly my wife's stuff in here for when she's here. And uh, there's a water heater in there now, which we're eventually going to move to another floor upstairs. Yeah, it's, it's not a bad size, I guess. There's some built-ins that we're probably going to keep, maybe change the handles on them because they're a bit 60s, but otherwise. My wife, when she's doing her jewelry for fun stuff, uh, works here currently. She will eventually work downstairs in that in her studio room or whatever you want to call it. She has a little makeup table. And then when she's actually working uh, and doing you know stuff on the internet or whatever, uh, emails and things, she has her little desk here for her computer. Uh, this is the ensuite. It's very small. And it's very 60s or 70s, we're not sure, and very brown. It is absolutely, we, we were almost like, we really don't want to show people this, but it's probably best to, that everyone sees the reality when you're working on a house that you're living in. Things are not nice, and it's been three years that we've been suffering with this bathroom, which is why that bathroom is a big priority. Because uh, once we get that done, I can rip this all out and do an ensuite, a proper ensuite in here. Uh, the plan will be to put a shower on this side by the window, uh, a sink in the center, and then where the shower currently is, that will be the toilet, just because of the way the plumbing all works in the house. The sewer works well going along that wall. But anyways, and we've also got our only little air conditioner, which vents outside. Uh, it's like a mobile air conditioner, and it kind of does this room. Because this room is really quite big, it's five meters by four and a half, five, if you include the the uh, cupboard and the, the ensuite, it uh, barely keeps up. So we only cool this room in the house uh, currently, just, just for sleeping. So, but eventually we'll have above all the doors, we'll have heating and cooling 
and a big unit outside to cool the whole house. So now we're done with this floor. That's pretty much you've seen everything on this floor and the ground floor. We'll now head up the stairs and we'll take a look at the top floor and we'll talk about what's up there. So on our way up the stairs, we have this chimney thing, which is for the, the pellet stove that's downstairs. We're going to get rid of this because we're not going to be doing um, burning of stuff. We're going to use the electricity from the solar panels. Uh, and luckily we have the little piece of the railing that's missing and all, and we think all of the, uh, I guess they're balustrades that they go on, that we're missing on the uh, stairs up uh, in this corner here, which would be great to fix. So, you know, eventually when we get a new roof, we get rid of this and uh, we'll feel a little less strange but yeah let's head upstairs we have another um cupboard in here which will be used for suitcases or something once again it's quite a good distance and it goes the whole width of the wall uh above me we have a large i don't want to call it a skylight i guess it's like a it's like a it's like a uh, canopy of a roof of a of a of a light it's up there i'll show you in a sec but it's really grim it's got so much dirt uh, there's cracks in it. It doesn't leak somehow, thankfully, at this point. Um, but we're going to replace that with something that's in keeping, but either a flat piece of glass on an angle that we can find easier to clean or replace it with something the same kind of pattern. We're not sure yet. It also depends on what we're allowed to do. So because it's exterior, we have to get permission from uh, basically the mayor's office of what we can do. I'm also going to be doing a lot of restoration for these balustrades and these handles. Uh, railings. I mean, they've got a lot of woodworm damage that we're going to have to work on getting out. And, uh, and we're going to be resurfacing all of these, um, I think they're limestone steps and floors. So let's head up to the next floor.